Sumeru's story has been pretty entertaining so far, but one of the most interesting yet overlooked items that has come out of this whole thing is the Akasha Terminal. The terminal is essentially a repository of information that is accessible to most of its users at any given time. On the surface, the terminal appears to be a pretty handy tool, but as the story unfolds, we learn that there are a lot of caveats and negatives to its usage. While the tool may appear to be something only able to exist in the realm of the fictional, did you know that we already have this technology in real life? Before we get into that, if you want to see more Genshin Impact content, do consider subscribing to the channel. We post weekly videos on Genshin Impact. In order to draw comparisons with its real life counterpart, we first need to go through some of its functionality. Now don't worry, I won't drag this section out too long as I'm sure some of you already know what the terminal can do. The Akasha terminal essentially acts as a database for all the knowledge and information that Academia has access to. This information can then be accessed by its users through the device they equip. They then just have to think of a question in their minds and the terminal will try its best to answer their question. The tool also provides a live heads up display that shows them information of the world around them in real time. After the events of the Archon storyline in 3.0 and 3.1, we also know it can be used in other ways. This will go into minor spoiler territory, so just a heads up. Firstly is that the terminal's flow of information isn't just one way. While it can feed information to its user, under certain circumstances, the flow of information can be reversed, meaning knowledge and information can be taken or extracted instead. The second functionality we learn of is that it can do computations. This isn't elaborated on, but essentially means that using the large database of information the Akasha terminal has, it can perform complex calculations to pretty much make predictions or estimations. To simplify this, the more information the terminal has access to, the more accurately it can predict things. There might be other ways of using the terminal, but so far these are the only ones we know of through the story. Now, earlier in the intro, I mentioned that there actually is a real life counterpart of this tool, but instead of it being a fancy all-in-one machine, it's really just statistics. Now hold on before you leave, I'm not trying to trick you into a lesson on statistical analysis or anything like that. All I'm saying is that the basis of computations mentioned in the game refers to predictive analytics, which uses statistics as a base to make predictions. See, statistics isn't just a way to prove your point in an argument. It's actually a way to make inferences based on numerical data. For example, if I wanted to predict what kind of movie you'd like to watch, the more information I have on things you've watched before, the more accurate my guesses will be. In the past, collecting and compiling this information was not an easy task, so statistics didn't really have enough data to make accurate predictions. But with cheaper storage costs and everyone and their grandmothers having data online through things like social media and whatnot, that limitation has severely been reduced. So now given enough information, we can actually start predicting how someone might act or behave before they even do it. Now of course this is nowhere near the accuracy you can get with the Akasha terminal, but in comparison the terminal has far more information in terms of both volume and accuracy since, you know, it pulls it out of people's minds. In any case, you've seen a basic example of this when you use Netflix, as it makes recommendations on what other movies you might like based on your past viewing history. A more extreme example is one from a department store chain in the US, which I won't mention their name. Basically what happened was, by analyzing their customer purchasing information, they were able to predict that one of their customers were pregnant by comparing her purchasing trends with those of other pregnant women. The thing is though, at the time, she hadn't broken this news to her family, so when the stores sent them coupons and discounts on baby related items, well, they were understandably surprised. What is more interesting though is that this didn't happen recently, but almost a decade ago. So in reality, the ability to predict what someone is going to do or their state of mind or condition is well within the realm of possibility. So if you stayed this far into the video, I'm sure you're wondering what any of this has to do with Al Haytham. After all, it's in the title of the video and I haven't talked about him at all. Well, what kind of confuses me is that we learn of the computational and predictive abilities of the Akasha terminal from Al Haytham himself. Obviously, being a part of the Academia and holding a notable position as its scribe also affords him access to more secret information. Despite this, and despite knowing how the tool is actually used, Al Haytham still continues to be linked to the Akasha terminal. He doesn't seem to be bothered at all with the fact that information can be taken from him and his moves predicted. 
Which makes me question why he seems to be indifferent to it, especially with how careful and private he appears. One idea is that he is using a modified terminal. Knowing what he knows, Alhatham may have modified his terminal so that its more secretive capabilities are not able to be used on him. An alternative theory is that he might know how to trick it. You see, any predictive analysis is incumbent on the data being used. So perhaps information on him has been altered or falsified so that any predictions will turn out largely inaccurate. After all, he is the scribe of the academia and thus may have access to personal records and information. Finally, and the least likely, he might have an ability derived from his vision that we are currently unaware of that may allow him to manipulate the terminal in some manner. Whatever the case may be, the next part of the story will likely see the traveller and gang facing off against the academia. But fighting against a machine that can predict your every move will be tough. Unless we have the one man that seems to have tricked it. But that does it for this video. Whatever happens in 3.2 is likely going to be crazy and I'm looking forward to seeing how the terminal is further explored. Just a reminder, some of this is speculation so take it with a grain of salt. If you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. As usual, have a nice day.